Hey, 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 welcome back, guys. Thursday again. I haven't seen you since Tuesday, so welcome back. And today, no tournament, just playing some games. Those of you who wants to, those of you who want to get busy quickly, you have a tactic in front of you. White pieces to move. Once we do this warm up exercise, we get to play some games, okay? And like always, um, we're going to be playing anytime control you want. We get to analyze the games after. Let's see if we can learn something from this session. Roberto, Roberto, ¿cómo está todo? ¿Listo para, listo para el, el torneo? <laughs> also, you're playing, you're playing the three-day the three day, uh, option for the tournament, right? Now, when we start playing, guys, to challenge, you have my username right below the, the board, so you can send me a challenge, okay? Bring it on, bring it on, bring that E4, I'm waiting for it. Hello, hello, hello. Good day to everyone, guys. So I'm gonna give you, um, uh, let's do four minutes for this exercise. After we go over it, if you, if we, if you haven't found it, and then we start playing, okay? Bring it on, bring it on. So you I guess uh, you've been doing what you told me, so you've been training consistently, you've had some practice games, and yeah, one more day, one more day. There you go, there you go, Paris. Paris, did you see it at night? <laughs> All right, welcome to the club. So you, you're working on, on video number two. By the way, don't forget to leave your the link to the to your channel in the comments, okay? No worries, we'll be here for a long time. We'll be here for a long time. Okay, guys, so no one has found this one. Let me see, we got, okay, let's give it, let's give it another minute, see if you can find it. If you cannot find it, at least give me candidate moves. What would you play if you were the white pieces? You're playing in a game, you're playing in a tournament game. Um, you get to this position as white, how do we continue? Nice, all right. I like the first one, I like the first one. And yep, so just uh, keep us posted, okay? Um, knight g6, knight g6, knight h6. <laughs> no, you know, that board, uh, believe it or not, I use it. I use it, uh, especially now, uh, I was telling Roberto we're playing a tournament tomorrow. And as I get closer to tournaments, I try to do something on a physical chessboard. So I use that one for that, just to adjust from the screen to the 3D, the 3D board. So yeah, just because of that, I've used it recently. Queen H6. All good, all good. How are you, my friend? How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, I have knight f5, queen h6. Okay, I, I guess you mean queen h6, rook g8, and then knight g6. I, you know, I, I asked you, I have to give it a try. Okay, guys, look at this. First move is queen h6, right? And um, I'm putting this one here because I, I worked on it with a few of my students this week, and it was a very cool idea to learn, even if you don't know it. Like if you know it, you're gonna see it quickly. If you don't know it, it's gonna be hard to see. But once you see it, you're not never gonna forget. I remember learning this when I was getting started and I've gotten it in, in a few games. I have never forgotten it um, again. So the move is queen h6, but after rook g8, if you just go knight g6, they're gonna take the, the, the knight and forget about any checkmates, you're down a knight. So there is a very powerful idea here See if you can find it. If not, we're just gonna go over it and you learn it. <laughs> Doesn't work. Username, guys, you should see it. It's right under the board. Uh, no, this, this way. 
if you look down here, you're gonna see Rob Ram. That's my username. You send the challenge there, okay? Uh, rook g8, rook f7. Um, oh, but then even if if you do rook h7, I mean queen h7 maybe, king g7, but then mm -mm, not gonna work. Knight g6, rook's gonna take. Nope. You know, probably, probably next, uh, probably next, uh, next Tuesday we do one. It's just that we've been doing the live tactics training, uh, especially since I had the tournament coming up. Um, but yeah, we gotta go back to it. We gotta get back to it. Rookie four, nope, not under the board. Okay, so it's just Rob Rem. Um, yeah, this is the username. If you're gonna send me a challenge on chess.com. Let me see. All right. Knight g6 first. Nope. Okay, guys, look at this. This is the idea. The idea is we got queen g6. Let's let's try to do it in our head first, first, and then we actually move the pieces, okay? Uh, let me see. Nope. So queen h6, threatening mate, only move to stop it is rook g8. And then right here is the same thing that we talked about on lesson 187, I think. If I'm in a position like this, Sometimes I pretend like I have two, three moves back to back. I get to move three times, my opponent cannot do anything. So once my queen is on h6 and the rook is on g8, if I had three moves back to back, how would I deliver checkmate? Well, you could think of, of a few ways. You could think of rook f5, rook h5 mate, or you could think of knight f3, knight g5, and then checkmate. Now, if I go queen h6, rook g8, knight f3, the black pieces, of course, are going to bring the queen over to challenge my queen. But at that point, there's a very powerful move. Let's see if you can find it. So one more time, try to do it in your head. Queen h6, rook g8, knight f3, queen f8. Give it one more minute. All right, there you go. Then what's the follow up after queen f8? You're right about that, but no, no, we're looking for something better. Nah, just, just randomly, guys, just randomly. This is our time to get together, play some games. So regardless of your rating, um, just treat me well. Don't destroy me so quickly, okay? Ah, uh, there you go. That's what we're looking for, guys. The idea is, after knight f3, queen f8, we got knight g5, threatening uh, the, I mean, yeah, th no, wait. Uh, yeah, threatening the same mate. If they take us, then knight f7. So, checkmate, bringing the knight around, and now knight g5, third range checkmate. If they take us, then the same checkmate. So this is a very, very important idea. You never know when it, com it could come handy. Sometimes we simply think of bringing the rook around, and then you have this threat of queen takes, king takes, and rook, f rook h4. So that's another pattern with the pawn on, G on f6, the pivot pawn, but now you know this idea as well. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually very nice. It's actually very nice. <laughs> All right, guys. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and find my opponents. Let me go to play. Yep. Okay, so I got the first one right here, and this is going to be five five. Let's do it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> I get that a lot. Whenever I do this with my students, uh, they always think of that. But again, this is a pattern, an idea you're not going to forget again. So today, all, all I'm doing is accepting challenges, okay? So I'm going to go in order as they come in, just accept them, and that's it. That's it. Feel free to choose any time control you like, just not too long. That way we get to play more games. Every every stream I play it. There's someone, uh, always someone plays it, and I match it. So let's see how this goes. But let's start trying to be in, in uh, educational. Let's see. 
All right, guys, we know this. Automatically, we're thinking aggressive setup. I'm going to play my c6. No, no, there's no spoiling. We gave we gave you like five minutes. If you didn't find it in four or five minutes, then forget about it. Yeah, 10 minutes is fine. Just know, guys, um, it's up to you, but 5-5 five, five is probably going to be with the increment. It's going to be probably the same amount of time, and you always have the increment if you ever get in time pressure. So something to keep in mind. All right, so we're delaying castling because we know they could just go for that easy plan and checkmate us. So I'm not saying you're going to get in trouble if you do that, but you got to be careful. All right, so B5, I'm on all the things. We're getting ready to play B4, and we get a pawn on E4. And maybe they get their pawn back, but this is a central pawn that we just took, and now we have a powerful knight there. Right, so they got their pawn, but this has to be better for us. It has to be better. All right, let me improve my rook. Ha, <laughs> yeah, last time, when, last week we did the tournament and I got destroyed by, I think it was an 1100. So <laughs> you never know, guys, you never know. in the air all right let's keep it cool i was thinking um knight b6 if they take a7 this is trapping the queen okay what if they take no no no, no. that just cannot be happening that just cannot happen all right that's a good question so okay how about we find out who has the highest rating here today so does anyone has 1500 of rating any 1500 Alberto, this one is for you. Let's make it 32, a 30 move, 32 move checkmate. Let me see how many do we have so far. 10 moves, 22 more moves. We get it, we get it, but I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you said it. <laughs> I'm glad you said it. All right, guys, should we just find a way to castle quickly? Yeah, I like that. But I also like bishop f5. Nah, let's try to castle, nothing crazy. Okay, a bit lower than 1800. So if there's no 1800, then we're gonna assume that the, the, the highest is 17, 1700. Okay, 171 has to be the lowest, has to be the lowest. And you're like, what do you mean the lowest? Come on. <laughs> okay, so let me take here. And this has to be a free pawn. Gotta be careful. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? Okay, I'm gonna take this pawn. I ask questions later. It doesn't seem like they could trap my rook. So this is looking good. Now, I like this square on d5. They can always kick me out, but I'm looking at it. See if I can secure it. Also, I could go back to e4. So these are just ideas. And of course, my bishop is a monster on that diagonal. So if I get to do c5, that could be, it could be useful. Yeah, no, no, we're looking for more long, uh, you know, long time control, like a longer format. Okay, let me take here. I'm winning by a pawn, so I'm up to. I'm, I'm happy to simplify the game, guys. No, I'm not looking for anything fancy, just simplification. Knight d5. We talked about this square. Nothing fancy again. The only thing I don't like about my position is developing this this bishop, but it's gonna happen easily. Well, look, at this rating, I don't think you have 
enough exposure to to play well under, under time pressure. And like we always say here, when you're in time pressure, you either play fast or you play well. You cannot do both, right? Now, after you have a lot of experience, maybe you're going to get better at it, you develop some skills, but for now, uh, it, it's normal. So the best thing you could do is stay away from playing so much bullet, so much blitz. So I always tell my students a good time control that I found here in chess.com or even, I mean, anywhere you play online is 15-10. You get 15 minutes to think about your strategies, positional chess, to calculate, but also you, you're going to get into time pressure, so you get exposure to it. But it's not going to be like every game you have to be rushing because of time control. And ultimately, you want to do a healthy mix. Like maybe you have a day where you play blitz, if you like it, and then other day where you play longer time controls. So just do that consistently, you're going to improve, but it takes time. Bishop e5, I wanted to, I wanted to get that free pawn. I wanted to get that free pawn. And Bishop e5 has been there from the beginning. Uh, Roberto, if you think about it, like from the moment they did Bishop d3, Knight f6, I wanted to do this. But I was always a little bit concerned with some g4s at some point. Also, I wanted to prioritize castling. So anyways, now that my opponent moved back, I'm thinking Bishop e6 with a tempo, or even Bishop g4. Okay, let me go bishop e6. So we're winning by two pawns now. If I get to develop my pieces, that's it. There's no compensation for the white pieces. And I think I just did that. So maybe I bring the rook over to the open file. And that's it. It's not like my opponent has anything. No, it's not like they have the pair of bishops. It's not like they have an attack on my king. There's nothing. Well, the best thing I could tell you is you got to look at your tournaments, guys, as a as part of your training. You're not going there to uh, play for the world championship. You're just going to go there to get good games, take good notation and review it after. That's it. If you win, great. If you lose, just like when you play online. If I'm playing here and I lose a game or I'm losing, I'm thinking I cannot wait to finish to go and review it and learn from the game. That's it. And at the same time, we have we've said it before. If you are playing a, hmm, if you're playing, if you're playing a stronger opponent, one thing that we cannot forget is that there's no pressure. The pressure is on your opponent. They're the ones who need to prove something. Like they, they can beat you, so just leave it up to them. Just enjoy the game. And again, your goal is to uh, get good games and learn from them. That's it. All right, guys. Let me go with this check. I've been looking for it, and then we take on d4. Not happy to let go of my bishop, but hey, it's already three pawns. So. Mm -hmm. Oop. It's funny that I saw the checkmate thread before I saw the, the queen hanging. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, guys, this one, nothing, uh, good game by my opponent, but there was not a lot of pressure. We were able, again, from the beginning, let me see if I can go here. We're playing our peers' defense. We've had like 20 lessons on this. And the moment we see these ideas of aggressive attack, we go with c6, we delay castling, and then our opponent is not going to be um, able to complete that easy plan. All right, so we got that one under control. Let me go to next game. And, okay, I have three minutes. Okay, white pieces. Let's play four. Okay, I, f I feel better then, I feel better. <laughs> All right, so Pierce, let me go D4. So this is the check, the check variation. Let's see. Let's see. No, all of a sudden now with g6, we transpose into the regular peers, Austrian attack. Let's see what our opponent is going to do. So I'm just going to continue to develop. Okay, so now I, all I did was open up the F file I really like that. Huh. Okay, 
let me take this one let's see three and just like that i'm fully developed i have semi open file let me see if i can yeah this queen d2 connecting the rooks so now we just play chess guys we just play chess okay so take or let them take nah, let me bring the other rook all of my pieces are active and we know when pieces are active tactics have to be in the air hmm. Bishop g5, knight g5, candidate moves, e6. So these are my candidate moves, guys. Or e takes, e takes, oof. There has to be something here. There has to be, there has to be something here. All right, guys, take your time. Pretend like you're playing this in a game. What would you do? What would you do as a white pieces? Yeah, this one is going to be left on the, on the, on the YouTube channel, guys. So after we finished, it's going to stay there. Um, recorded yeah I don't know it's my intuition is telling me we gotta sack we gotta do something about it now e6 interesting e6 is interesting and then sack what would Carlson do in this position What to do, what to do? One, two, three. Now we calculate and we compare. Oh, we have we have no increment, so I gotta play fast. Okay, let me go with six. Okay, this is open. We gotta go for that king now. Hmm, I missed the better move. I missed the better move. The better move was just to take on e7. Guys, I think we could have taken a free bishop, right? <laughs> All right, so we got that one. Uh, let me see. Let me just take a look quickly. If let me see. Because I'm pretty sure, I don't know if e6 was the right way to take advantage of that. Probably bishop g5 right away. Okay, pretty bad stat. <laughs> Accuracy is not good today. Uh, let me see. Bishop d3. So as you can see, the opening itself, pretty easy to play. e5. And this is the key. When we play these openings, we have a perfect center. We've talked about this. If we push prematurely, we leave weak squares. And our opponent could use them to place their pieces, right? Here, I think it was the right timing. Then, okay, knight g5. Yeah, just put in pressure. We talked about the semi-open file. Just put in pressure on it. Here, I only calculated e6 right away and only then knight g5. So take, take, c3, queen d2, rook e1, g5, blunder. We know something tells us this cannot be right. And look. <laughs> This is us overthinking. Best move according to the engine is bishop g3. Just keep it cool. Let him, let him suffer with that pawn structure. Now e6 was a mistake. Let me see. They're giving e takes f6, bishop e3, bishop g3. Oof. We were completely off. Completely off. Yeah. Yeah, here after I played, I realized I had rook e7. That's it. All right, guys. Let's go to the next one. Let me see what we got. Okay, so 10 minutes. Let's do it. And should we play? No, let's play d4. Yeah, I should have played c4 maybe. Okay, let's play c4. Now let's go knight f3. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so someone called someone called E takes F6. All right. All right. So King's Indian defense setup. Guys, let me know. Should we go for a London setup or should we go for a Kali? Should we go for try to get into the classical King's Indian defense or maybe Groomfield? So let me know what we should play as wide, okay? Let me see if I can. Let me see. Work, work, work. <laughs> Ne well, no, no, no. We wanted to, but we didn't. London, Queen's, Ga no, Queen's Gambit we cannot play now. London, okay, I got London a few times. So let's go for it. If anything, next game we play the Coley or even the, the Catalan. All right, so let's go here. H4 is interesting, actually. All right, so let me just go. Let me just go bishop e2. Don't forget, we've talked about it. When you play against the king's Indian, it's a good idea to just leave the bishop on e2 because there are always these uh, plans with e5, e4 if the bishop is on d3. So we gotta be careful with that. At least just keep it in mind. <laughs> now you don't have to prevent it. Okay, so my opponent went over lesson 87, I think. All right, we talked about that. Let me go c4. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Guys, don't worry about ratings at all. If you're training consistently, sooner or later, your rating is going to follow your strength. Just focus on training consistently. You're going to get stronger. Your rating is going to follow sooner or later. So don't worry about that. Okay, so maybe, maybe that's because... Okay, let me play h3 to save my bishop, okay? Maybe that's because you have, remember, we have, we have different ratings. We have a rating for Blitz, uh, Bullet. Maybe there is showing the, whatever whatever rating it is that, that you have for 100. It could be Rapid, it could be Blitz, and so on. Like you see right now, mine is showing 2,000 rating. That's the Rapid because we're playing a 10-minute game. If in, in Blitz, it's higher than, than that. Okay, let me just be prophylactic, go back to safety. And guys, we made it to the middle game with... Developer minor pieces, we're controlling the center, we castled, now we just play chess. If we look at my pawn structure, it's saying expand on the queen side. Let's see if we can create something there. All right, we're gonna have time, we're gonna have time to play all of those. Yep, e5. All right, so we send you to Lesson 102. Go to the YouTube channel. Okay, you're there, go to my channel, go to Lesson 102, stick to that plan, and there's no reason for you not to improve, okay? Okay, let's try to work on the queen side. Let's try to work on the queen side. Okay, good question. That we've talked about it. Um, a good idea is to, number one, do a mix. Half days where you play rapid games, half some days where you do blitz if you want, 5-5, five, five, that's okay. Um, and the amount of games, remember we had a video here on this channel, we had an interview with uh, Grandmaster um, Avetik, and he was saying that he likes to go on it, like he's gonna play now, he goes with a certain number of games in mind. So we talked about nine, 10, you go or whatever you want, right? So we talked about nine because a lot of tournaments, they have there are nine rounds. Or if you play five round tournaments, completely up to you. Just go in there as if you were playing a tournament. So tonight, I'm going to play a nine round tournament. And that's it. When you finish the nine games, 
even if you lost the last four, don't be like, oh, let me play three more to see if I win. That's it. That was your tournament for today. Go to the next one. So to answer your question, um, I don't think you should have a limit of maximum, but I think if you keep it like that, five, nine, fine. If you're playing longer time controls, like 15, if you play one or two a day, it's fine. If you play one, it's fine. Something is better than nothing. Ideal, just go for as long as you want. You could be all night playing chess. But the most important thing to wrap up is that you actually have time to analyze your game. So you want to play an amount that allows you to after review the games, okay? Every, each one of those games. Analyze them carefully and try to learn from them. Because again, that's what tournaments are for. Yeah, guys, today we're just uh, accepting challenges. It's like right now, my opponent, I just took the challenge. When I finish, I go to the next one and so on, okay? There you go, there you go. Let me go back. I don't want to go to C. Um, I don't want to go to... Oh, C3 was interesting. Nah, but the knight has to go back. I didn't want to go to B3 because of knight C5. So sooner or later, this bishop is going to have to move again. So, so far, I'm letting my opponent make... Hope, giving my opponent a chance to make mistakes. Let's see. <laughs> up to you guys. It's up to you. Ah, but you're good. With Italian, you're good. You're good with... Oh, this is what I was looking for. Guys, every time we move a pawn in chess, weaknesses are created. So c6 was pushed, d6 becomes available right away. Now, my first instinct is going to be get the rook, right? Now, what if we have a better move? If you have a good move, look for a better one. How about knight g5? The force to go back to e7. Then we could go take the exchange or get the free piece. So... I'm going to go knight g5, fork, fork. I don't know, you can call it whatever you want, but I like it, I like it. I just know it's good. You know, it's funny, we talked the other day, when I was learning chess, I never learned the name of the tactics, like, you know, the name of the checkmates, the checkmate patterns and so on. Um, and honestly, I don't think it's a big deal. As long as you can find them in your games, you're good. Tato, Tato is coming. Tattoo is coming back. Okay, guys, exchange or clean piece? Clean piece, anytime. Okay, back to the six. Back to the six, or are we being too greedy? Okay, I'm gonna go back in there. Well, the plan is to go over each one of them. It's just that I need you guys to have certain foundation before we go into some openings. Like the Catalan, the main lines of the Catalan, we still have to learn a little bit more of a strategy before we get to it. Um, I really want to get into the Queen's Gambit uh, decline with the exchange variation. And that's why lately we've been talking about um, this kind of pawn structures. So, But the plan is to go over all of them, just little by little, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, 1,100 players. The, least, the, the last thing you should worry about is openings. Like, just to give you an, an idea, guys, uh, the students that I teach uh, privately, we don't talk about openings like officially uh, until they are like probably 12, 1300. They get to 12, 1300 by not blundering every game and pure tactics. Tactics, not blundering. And we've said it before, if you look at your games, if you're under 1000, under 1100, you look at your games, 
before move number 20, either you or your opponent blunder a piece. That's a fact. Just look at it, that's a fact. So if you just remove that element of blundering pieces, you're gonna make it to 11, 1200. If you get really good at tactics, basic tactics, forks, pins, checkmate in one move, checkmate in two moves, you're gonna make it to 1300, 1400. Then we start talking about openings. I'm not saying they don't know any openings. Like whenever we're doing a lesson and I show them a game, let's say a Kasparov game, and they see the Sicilian defense, next time they play, they want to try it. They're like, oh, let me play this C5. But we don't go deep into the theory. Just They just try to control the center, develop the amount of pieces, castle, and that's it. Ed, 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 what's going on? Tell me something good. How's the weather? <laughs> Are you in the UK or no? Well, I'm, I'm always going to send you uh, back to the lessons that we have, guys. Every lesson that we have on YouTube is in, in order. There's a number for it. Just follow it, train, uh, play your games, train your tactics. But if you go to lesson 102 specifically, we talk about a training plan. Just stick to it. That's it. Stick to that plan four days a week. You're good to go. <laughs> I can't imagine. I can't imagine. What should we do? Check first. What should we do? Night takes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, for that you gotta ask someone who has had that problem. Not my, not my problem. Uh, it hasn't been my problem, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I don't want to say anything because then your parents come just back at me and it's just uh, not healthy. Ooh, you're, you're, in, you're in Norway, right? Jody in the house. Guys, very good friend, excellent player. Uh, we've worked together in the past uh, on, on his chess, and look, he's a good one to give you advice what he's been doing to, to improve. Uh, so let's see if we can get it, we can find him to, to do that. Oop, is, that a, is this a fork? Jody, nice to see you here, my friend. Nice to see you here. Uh, bishop d6, that's a fork. And now we're trying to be fancy, is there anything better, but in reality, I'm dying to just go for the fork. If I get that rook, I'm already happy. Ah, there you go. Thank you, sir. There you go. Tactics, tactics, tactics. Well, to beat Magnus, you have to be like Magnus. You have to find what he eats, what he does, and just do exactly what he does. <laughs> okay, take. I'm gonna take. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna take here. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you see, we, I know. I knew we, we needed uh, expert advice. So that one seems reasonable. <laughs> okay, guys. This is just. This is now too much. This is now too much. Right, we got that one, uh, and again, we didn't do anything extraordinary, just develop our pieces, got to the middle game, our opponent started to make some concessions, like the weak square on d6, and we got them. All right, let me go to next one. So as you can see, next opponent, Sam Beer. Let's go, let's do it. No, 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 so far, no one has, like every challenge I have accepted, uh, they have played it, so. No one has been skipped. Okay, so should we play E5? Uh, let's play E5. We haven't played E5 in a long time. Let's see how that goes. No, oh, you're good, you're good. <laughs> I 
I know the feeling. You're like, oh, this is gonna be a good game. I'm gonna save it. And then you play like a beginner. I know, I know. I know the feeling, guys. Okay, guys, so we talked about the Vienna as white on lesson 34, but with the Fianchetto. This is the, the Gambit. And what if we just play D5? Should we? Should we not? Hmm. Should we? Should we not? Okay, let me go bishop before. Yeah, yeah, d5 gets really interesting. d5 gets really interesting. By the way, guys, remember lesson 191 is coming out um, on Saturday. So keep an eye out for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll try, we'll try. But you know, when I'm losing, when I get when I get destroyed, it's hard to. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't don't worry about it. Just play it, play it. Review games that other people have played. Get ideas, and you're gonna see. You're gonna see. Okay, can I just do this? Uh, okay, let me go D6. What do you mean, why not? Why not? All right, guys, so we finally developed all of our minor pieces. Now we just play chess. How can we come up with a plan now in the middle game? What, what are we looking for? If we evaluate the position, um, my opponent has semi-open file on the F, a E file for us, can we continue to put pressure on it? Should we play on the queen side, on the king side? Should we play in the center? So pretend like you're playing this game, what would you do? Yeah, no, still, you're not there yet. One day, it's just gonna, it's, it's just gonna sink. You're gonna start seeing it more. Just keep working on it consistently, consistently. I know, and don't forget, we had, I don't know if it was less than 140 something. We talk, and it, that one was, uh, was also with uh, Avetic from Chess Mood. When you're doing your, your, your tactics, you know that we talk about looking at checks, captures, threats, and if you train your brain to do that, What's going to happen is your intuition is going to get developed properly. You're going to get to your games and your brain is going to tell you when there's a critical moment. Okay, this feels like there's something here. You're going to be looking at checks, captures, and then that's where tactics start to, to, to formulate. But like we always say, you need your pieces to be active for tactics to start to appear. Now, should we take? No, doesn't seem right. Okay, let's continue with the pin. I don't want to give out the pro bishops. And I don't want to improve this queen either, so gotta be careful. You know, it's gonna happen to you sooner or later. It's always gonna happen. So assuming that you are training consistently, not, not just playing games, and that happens to you. You have to check it up. Just look different kind of uh, exercises, uh, change your training uh, somehow, find a different, uh, more challenging, challenging exercises. Maybe you're focusing on the wrong area. Maybe you're at a level where it's not so much about middle game, but maybe you need more end games. And I think that's the best piece of advice. Go back to your games and see where you're struggling. Are you struggling in the middle game or in the end game? If it's the end game, then work on it. I can tell you around the 2000 level, you're going to need more and more end games. Just take your opponents to an end game, I'll play them there, but you need to learn your end games. All right, so anything good for us here? Because it seems a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, let me just go. Let me just go here. 
Okay, how much time are we playing here? Five minutes, no increment. Now g4, I was waiting for it because then they get to expose the king a little bit and that could give me an edge. Don't, oh yeah, welcome to the club. Look, don't put pressure on yourself. Make sure you enjoy the process, okay? If not, you're going to get burned out. So if you cannot do it in 15, in 15 minutes, you do it in 10. I mean, in, in 30, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just make sure that you're happy with what you're putting out there, okay? Don't be like, oh, I have to do it in 15 minutes and then rush it because then you're going to regret it, okay? So take your time. Oof, come on, man. We've had like so many lessons, but recently we've had like three lessons back to back on how to attack. So go to a YouTube channel, look at the lessons. <laughs> now, guys, many of those questions that you're asking me, we covered them in the in, in the course. Go to the YouTube channel. Just You don't have to open the videos, just scan through the, the, the titles. And then you're going to see many videos on pawn structure, middle game, positional chess. There's even a playlist with all of those lessons together. Okay, so pawn or rook? Who knew what to do? We talked about this on Tuesday. Um, let me calculate here quickly. Cha cha cha. Or cha cha. Uh, what to do? What to do? Okay, we're gonna be up. We're gonna be up a pawn. I know. I know. We talked on Tuesday about taking with a rook, keeping the file open, or controlling the file. And you see, at the end, there was a tactic there. Uh, rook on the same file as the queen, it cannot be good. If I'm white, I want to get out of there. <laughs> this plan was interesting too, but c4, I don't know, they couldn't do c4. I should have done 97, 95. Looking for be better square for your pieces. But we'll get there. Yeah, yeah, I'm just taking challenges from, from anyone, guys. From anyone. And right now, more than that, I'm trying to survive. <laughs> trying to survive this game. Ah, what did I do? It, that, that one got complicated all of a sudden but of course we were in time pressure no increment and you have to you have to really focus okay let me catch up with you guys um <laughs> okay yeah i'm just taking challenges from everyone uh end game guys we have an entire playlist on end games so make sure you review it okay now let me go to next game and okay five minutes now this one guys look it's not taking it i got the 10 minute one Do what I say, not what I do. Uh, you mean like uh, physical, like physical training? Uh, if that's what, you, well, yeah, if that's what you're referring to, I know that you know. Obviously, 
uh, we always read and see uh, your cardio, uh, see a lot of people. I remember a book that I had on Karpov and Kasparov on the, it, there was a picture of them playing tennis, one of them playing tennis. So I guess cardio, for me, mainly what I do when I have the time, I just do some pull-ups, some push-ups, and that's it. And that's it. All right. Um, yeah, 96. <laughs> okay, so we had a lesson on this. King Indian defense versus this setup with G4. Typically, we see H3 first. Um, and we said, when you see G4, that means the king is not going to castle there. So we need to open up the center. This is basic principles, but we reinforced it when we talked about this lesson. Knight G4 was good. Knight G4. Wait, wait. Knight G4? Okay, so basically they're saying they don't care. That's okay. Let me do a five. Again, I'm doing the I'm not doing what we talked about on that lesson, but I think we should be fine here. Oof, congrats, congrats. Now, come on, share with the rest of uh, of us trying to get to a thousand. What did you do? Was it tactics, openings, middle game, end games? Or you have no idea? Oh, instead of 96. Uh, no, no, but it's the same thing. They take us, right? They take us, right? Hey, hey, hey. You mean the board theme? Uh, well, actually, it's not. Well, it's a, well, actually, it's an overlay. But if you guys go to my channel, you're gonna see a video on it as well. It's like one or two minutes, just explaining how to get whatever theme you want. You could choose any color you like, and so on. Um, okay, let me take back. Now, like I told you back in that lesson. Just relax. You're not gonna get checkmated here. A lot, a lot of things have to happen for them to get for them to get you checkmated. Now I know, probably get checkmated. <laughs> but the truth is that my king is it seems unsafe. But same thing for this one. Still in the center. Let's see if we can get to that king before they get to ours. You know, more than how many puzzles I would say allocate time. So 30 minutes of tactics, 45 minutes, whatever time you have left, uh, you have for chess. Um, I, I personally like to do like a combination of um, books and, and online, but it's, it's up to you. Just pick for it, whatever time you have for your tactics day, just do as many as you can. It, there's nothing wrong with spending 20, 20, 25 minutes on one exercise. Maybe that's more productive than doing 30 exercises that are really easy and they don't really contribute a lot to your development. But anyhow, uh, that is five. Yeah, I like that is five. Don't say that. People are going to try it. People are going to try it. Well, tell, tell me that the black piece is won. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, last comment. Okay, let me see. Okay, thank you. Thank you for, t for telling me. Um, let me just put you here.
counterattack with queen. Okay, sacrifice. I, um, okay, so I think I'm probably not gonna like the answer, but I think it just comes down to if you play those openings. Uh, let's say I play the king's gambit. Like I have a student in particular who likes this kind of positions, and he plays it. And what he's done the most is review master games, and this applies to any opening. Review master games because that way you're gonna see how they deal with that. Okay, I see the queen getting get, getting them in trouble. What do they do? Oh, this is what I, this is what they do. So this is what I'm going to do myself. Now, I can give you the example with the Groomfield, uh, and we're gonna have a lesson recently on the, uh, coming up on the Groomfield. When I played the Groomfield, I went immediately and looked. I had like a folder with games played by um, Swidler, uh, Peter Swidler because that's the guy who that's the one for the for the for the for the Grunfeld. so i've reviewed all of his games not all of them but a lot of his games and i got ideas so that's the best thing you could do all right guys let me try this now my opponent gave me an exchange with the hope to get to my king so i'm all i'm thinking now is simplify the game simplify the game also if i can make them not castle pff, that's great Okay, so now this is looking good. I thought they were gonna do this move, but not today. Not today. Okay, let me try to open up the center. And this is a pass pawn, however you, however you put it. It could be fun, it could be fun, it could be fun. Okay, let me develop my bishop. Now, where is this king going to go? Because if they, if they plan to bring the rook over, they're going to have to move the king. Yeah, I know. I, I, I hope I, we can, I'm gonna get to you. I'm just going in order. Uh, whatever challenges are sent, I'm, I'm accepting them in, in order, okay? Well, put me in your wimps list. <laughs> you got it, sir. You got it. Well, look, we have. you have to. You have to dominate that, guys. You cannot be a player at this level and you just can, you cannot read notation, you cannot read books. Cannot happen. It just cannot happen. Okay, so let me see this. Now, so far, I like my bishop, I like my knight, I like my queen, I like my rook. This is the only piece that you need to improve, and we gotta find the best square for it. Yeah, guys, send the, the challenge. I'm just accepting as they come in. Let me see if I show you full screen. Well, I don't know if it, oh, it's not showing, but as they come in, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to accept them, okay? We have still some time. Yeah, I wanna be here for a, for a little bit longer, so we have time. Uh, it should show, you're gonna, you should see the, the username uh, right below the board. Uh, no, actually, right above me right now. Right, right here. <laughs> so that's me. Yeah, it's it's just that remember, for you to be to attack successfully, you need more attackers than you have defenders. Right now, they have one attacker. I have one, two defenders. I should be fine. And now I'm on simplification mode. That's it. Now map an exchange. Let's trade queens. And also, uh, on lesson 187, guys, we, we talked about how to use the same files that are open towards your king, how to use them to attack your opponent's king. So we might at some point do king f7, rook g8, we never know. And the center is locked, so my king is not so so bad here. Plus, we could just push. Past pawns, past pawns are meant to be pushed. Queen f6, okay, let me take a look. Um, okay, right here, queen f6. 
yeah, still good, still good. It's just that I would rather, like, of course we have to calculate, but I calculated that after rook f6, they have no choice but to go back. So I get to keep my queen active, rook is improved. What? what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Any sneaky checks? Oh, no, we're good, we're good. All right, tactics in the air. Pieces are active. So this is what I was telling you. My pieces remain to be active and um, and tactics are going to be in the air. This king still weird. Now, we have to calculate, guys, what if they had an in-between move to get away from the pin? Well, luckily, we could just block. No, 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 no. It's, guys, it's, remember, we have different ratings. So right now, this is a 10-minute game, so it's the rapid rating. Uh, Blitz it's not 2500, but it's higher than this. Um, okay, queen g6 or rook g6? Okay, let me go with this. Again, if they take in between move, we could take back. So I'm not scared, but I need to consider it. No, no surprises. Hello, hello, hello. But you know, don't be surprised. In one day, you see me. You see my rating going down 500 points easily. It could happen. Yeah, you know, I, I was not as confident, but when you said it, I'm like, okay, I'm good here. If he said it, we're good. <laughs> you know, of course. It's, uh, it depends on the position, the specific characteristics, but in my mind, automatically, it's a big no. I want to, but to me, two minor pieces are better than a, than a rook and a pawn, Mo most of the time. Now, the specific situations that if you get a good attack for it, you get compensation, then by all means. Now, guys, the, the real question to you is, from 1 to 10, how likely are you to convert this game? You're winning by an exchange and a pawn. So you have pass pawn, initiative, and a lot more. Yeah, now, yeah, it was the other position. And this goes back to what we've talked about before. If you're training, you're doing your tactics or reviewing any games, when once you find a tactic, you get the, the advantage, set it up against the engine, see if you can convert that. You gotta be able to close to close your games. Okay, so many ways to win this. I'm gonna not give my opponent any counterplay. Rook d8 and keep it safe. Well played by my opponent. Um, okay, let me go to next one. All right, guys. So I have next one here. I have this one. Five minutes. Not taking it. I think that was the same as before. This one. Three minutes. Okay, that one worked. And we're going back to, let me play C4. Let's play English opening, see how that goes. Oh yeah, 100%. That night, we just remove them from the board. We're good to go. All right, it seems like my opponent took the hint. There's no way he's gonna win today, so good. Let me go to next one. Okay, this one is the one that is not responding. Okay, we got this one. Hey, 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 what's going on? No, 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 I don't play kids. No, no, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. 
Uh, no, guys, I'm going in order. No preference. Doesn't matter if you're a kid or not. Nah, no preference. But I'm looking forward to playing to playing him. Can I join? Bring him on. Bring him on. Bishop d2. Okay, a little bit odd. But we keep doing our thing. We keep doing our thing. Up to you. Just not... I mean, don't go up to 15-10. Like, some people have done 10 minutes. This game is a 10-minute game. Fine. But longer than that, it's going to be too long, okay? All right, we finished with our king side. Now, c5, d5, d6. I'm going to play c5. Now, we've said it before. When we play c5, we could easily get into this Sicilian sort of pawn structure. So we have to be familiar with it. What to do now? We when we talked about the the Collie system, guys, we talked about the typical pawn structures that we get in that opening, right? We talked about this formation here. We gotta pay attention because easily we could get uh, a, a, an isolated pawn, hanging pawns. So we gotta see what we want to leave our opponent with, and then come up with a plan accordingly. So let me see if I take. Let me go bishop g4. My opinion on the Karo can, uh, in my opinion, is one of the best openings out there for, for black. Absolutely. You, it's, or let, me, let me tell you this. Because <laughs> truth is, it depends on, on style. But from what I know, the Karo can is very solid, very difficult to get in trouble with it. Um, so yeah, maybe you're looking for something more aggressive, like if you're looking for more risk, maybe it's not for you. But the pawn structure, the backbone, or the, the, the structure that you get is just very solid, very difficult for the white pieces to get an edge. So that's, that's my opinion. So just because of that, I think it's a good opening. But again, maybe it's not, it's not your style. And if you compare it to the French, you always have the option to bring your light square bishop out. It doesn't, it's, it's not blocked like in the French. So that's my opinion. Now, let me go ahead and see if I can create an isolated pawn in the center or hanging pawns. We had a lesson on each one of them. So let's see if we can work on that. Now, you know, I have always, okay, now we get even we get the pair of bishops and we get them an isolated or hanging pawns. Those of you who are new to the channel, this is the plan. If they get an isolated pawn, they did. Our job is to block it. We got to make sure they don't advance it. We put pressure on it. And if possible, we trade minor pieces. If we leave them with minor pieces, they have pieces to defend the pawn with. If they don't, then it's up to the major pieces. So I want to so putting pressure on it. They're going to have to have their pieces slave to defending the pawn. And then we finally create a second weakness or we just finally drill on it. Lesson 101? Lesson 101. So anyhow, it, it, easier said than done, I know. <laughs> so let's see. Knight d5 or queen d7? Or queen b6? d5. Let me go for 25. Let me go queen b6. All right, let's drill on that. Okay, hanging pawns, different story. We'll talk about it later. But we should, we should know. If you have been following this plan, you should know what we should be doing. Okay. Now, also, the white pieces have good chances also with the isolated pawn. It's not only bad things. But let's see who can prove the other person wrong. Yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty popular. It's pretty popular. And it's, it's very interesting, to be fair. Okay, so... Hmm. All right, 
best piece to block an isolated pawn, an isolated queen pawn, is gonna be the knight because it blocks and it continues to do what it's supposed to do. Now notice that I'm on dark squares, they don't have a dark square bishop, so I'm putting my pieces on dark squares. You know, you're, you're right, I've seen you here over and over, we haven't played, so let me know, put your username here, I'm gonna send you a challenge, okay? That way we get that game already. Let's do it. Okay, I'm not concerned about this, but a5 could be could be nice. Okay, let me go a5. Again, I keep putting my pieces on dark squares. Also, this is a pawn that stops too. All right, you know, when people tell me don't do that, I, I just, I typically do it. Now, guys, look, uh, I know, I know, but there are people here who have been for years. I mean, for, since the beginning, I haven't played. But I know him. He's been f for a long time. He's been here. So I'll be happy to, to do that. I know. Maybe not fair. Not fair. But again, like I always say, most likely I'm not going to play all, all of you guys. So try to come here to ask questions, to try to learn something, not to just play. Because most likely it's not going to happen. Okay. Um, okay. We don't want to take because then there's no isolated pawn anymore. I'm not concerned about this guy anymore. I mean, for now. Hmm. You know, I'll try to keep it for a little bit longer, but yeah. Look, the less pieces my opponent has, the, the, the harder it is to defend the pawn. The only thing is that typically what happens is my opponent's pieces are going to be tied up to the defense of the pawn, and I'm not going to have a chance or more pieces to attack it. So I'm attacking, they're defending. There's only one weakness. I cannot take advantage of it. I need to look for a second weakness on the king side. And for that, it would be nice to have my queen. But we'll see. We're going to keep assessing the position. <laughs> so it's all about one pawn. That's it. It's about the, that little pawn. Up to you, you tell me, what do you want to do? Okay, 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 okay. You see guys, I think finally this pawn is, is ours. So the whole game has been, let me see. We got that isolated pawn for my opponent it was right here. This is move number 11. Isolated pawn. And we're now on move number 20. So nine moves later, and it looks like we're going to finally get that pawn. But all we did was identify it, put pressure on it. E6 is very important because otherwise they get us in trouble. Now, for the white pieces, all they need to do is use the benefits of the isolated pawn, which is outpost for the knight, semi-open files. And now this is just too much. That's it. No, no, no. 10 minutes max. Either 5-5 five, five or 10 minutes. That's it. Yeah, because if that is going to be really long. You got it, mister. You got it. Hmm. Is that the move I didn't see? <laughs> hmm. I can always take. If they take, I get the rook. Is there anything better? Can I just do queen d6?
Thank you, thank you. Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> now, like I said before, guys, the question is, would you be able to convert this? If you're playing this against the engine, would you be able to convert this? We're up upon now, active pieces, can we convert? From one to 10, how likely are you to convert this? Take this. We never know. You don't know how many times I, I've blundered these positions. You just don't know how many times. I'm gonna take this. I mean, I could have gone here, guys, easily. King of eight, we're fine, we're safe. But two rooks, we had a lesson on rooks versus queen, but two rooks and minor piece, this has to be easily winning now. But good, good complicated, good complicated. Let's go for that king. Two rooks coordinated. We, this is the main thing. If the rooks are coordinated, they should be better than the queen. If they're not, we could get in trouble. Oh no, so many things could happen. <laughs> did, did you send it? Did you send me your username? Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, no worries, bring it on. Okay guys, we got that game. Um, yeah, this one, it was just, it was about the isolated pawn, that's it, that's it. All right, mister, when you send me the username, then I'll send you the challenge directly. This one's still not working. This one not working. This one not working. Okay, we got this one, 1600 player. We're playing, let me see. All right, let's play our Pierce defense. And this is five, five, okay, good. So we get increment. Okay, so this is burn variation. What was that? Lesson 98, 96, 96 or 98? And if I remember correctly. No, I know, I know, but I, I didn't get your username. Maybe you sent it, I didn't see it. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so my opponent is taking his time. This is move like, what, four, five? That means he's not that familiar with this position. We should be, because we had a lesson on this. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. Momo game, well, Momo, it has been a while, but last time I think he destroyed me, or he has destroyed me badly a few times. All right, he's going right into what we talked about on lesson one, uh, 96, 98. This is exactly what they shouldn't do. It looks like we're in trouble, but we aren't. 
again, if we're familiar with this position. Okay, time format I got, username I got it. Perfect, you got it, my friend. All right, how about G5? No, how about we just take? Mm -hmm. All right, that's a free pawn. That's a fact. Guys, when you go to a, a, an over-the-board tournament, an official tournament, you're gonna feel different. It, it's just, you're gonna feel different. It's a whole different experience. Absolutely. Hmm. Let's do it. No, no, not even online. I never tell people the lesson, but probably they come to mind. Like, oh, we talked about it in this lesson. player mm -hmm. 93 no no I don't think we could this knight was here I don't think we could have mm. okay let's take this guy out from this pin let's see if we survive this we should be fine <laughs> we should be fine but will we will we survive this no 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 uh, guys I'm, I'm, I'm only taking it for a dear follower that I know he's been here supporting the channel for a long time the rest, I'm, after that game, I'm going to continue accepting just the challenges that, that came in, okay? necessary <laughs> you don't have an Xbox man you don't have an Xbox <laughs> you know typically it's the other way around we lose a lot of uh, chess players to, to video games so Glad that we are at least getting one, one back. Okay. Um, I might have as well just take it. I might as well just take it. 
Okay. Well, I'm being attacked. <laughs> I know, but I'm being attacked. I know, but I'm being attacked. Okay, let me just go. Let me go here. The only thing I need is to activate this rook. If I activate this rook, then that's it. I, even if I lose the game, I'm going to be happy. But it would be painful to lose the game. I mean, to lose the game with this rook here. So, let's see. All right, romantic music. This is a good time. Okay, I think I'm gonna take it. Maybe not. Hmm. Mm, okay. Okay. Not too happy about that move. Not so happy. Not so happy. Not so happy. Not at all. No, no, we moved the king already at the beginning. Okay, so now I'm happy. I'm up a pawn still, my pieces are active. Now you're showing on the screen. I hope you're talking about chess and chess only. Yeah, ugly rook. You know, way before when the rook was on c5, my opponent had a5, I believe. And that was going to be a long, a painful rook to have. But I mean, they have to improve the rook at some point. I don't know. Uh, worst case scenario, we just sack the rook with the bishop. At least I want to think, I want to think that. Teach me how, tell me how, and I'll do it. <laughs> ta, ta, ta. Mm -hmm. No, actually, I want to open it. I need to create trouble. I need to create trouble. 
See if I can activate through this rank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go from passive rook to passive bishop. Okay. Okay, so we're still up a pawn. Still up a pawn. Simplification, happy with it. Should we go for another pawn? Should we just take? Okay, what will Carlson do here? Uh, take. The oh, no, no, wait. What am I doing? He's still attacked. to do now I'm comparing take take and then my rook moves my king moves or king up take take my king is 25 Rook game's very tricky, very, very tricky. That's the truth. All right. Now, we had a lesson on Rook end games. We just need one pawn. One pawn and one pawn only. We just need one pass pawn. Okay, that was a mistake. Yeah, I played that wrong. I played it wrong. This is ugly, 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 ugly. We just need one pawn to promote. Yeah, unless we activate what happened here. Okay, so. Very well played, actually. Very well played, I gotta say. And I, I'm pretty sure I was inferior for a long, long time. For a long, long time. I feel better now after C5, but still, there's a lot of chess to be played. This, guys, even in these endgames, many inaccuracies could be made.
No, the thing is that with A5, um, they take and then take. Yeah, now we play C4 because the pawn is pinned. So they cannot take with the pawn. If they take with the rook, should have taken with the rook. Should have taken with the rook. Time, the evil time. Taking with the rook, it was forcing, and then we take, take, and this pawn goes. Yeah, I was waiting for it, but before my opponent just moved out the way. an opportunity there this was this move was not necessary I'm defending it I just I just needed rook b5 a5 okay We went from, I think we're now we're in trouble. The only thing I like is that my king is pretty active. This is me just forcing it, but this is a draw. Long time, long time ago. Long time ago. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so again, what happened there? Let's see. Let me see. All right, guys, let me take a quick look because this is a good game to really review. That was a good game. Uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see. What did we mess up? Yeah, I should have done rook b3. That was the move, that was the move. Rook b3, rook takes, pawn takes, and we get the, the pawn end game. <laughs> let me see, all right. With that end game, wow, look, not so bad. The accuracy, 80, 86, 87% was pretty good because uh, I thought we messed it up multiple times in the end game. Now, let me see. Quick look here, guys. E5, we talked about taking with the pawn. Uh, you could always do knight F to D7. <clears throat> knight G4, we're good. Take, take. 
Now, castling, that they, uh, okay, that's only move. Castling, I don't think it's the best move. Yeah, that's not an accuracy. But can we take advantage of it? I don't know. So, bishop d7 was a mistake. So, what did we have to play instead? Knight d7 was a better move. All right, make a note. Knight d7 instead of bishop d7. Now, let me see here. Um, so it's giving knight d7 roughly equal e6, then knight f2, with bishop d7, e6. I mean, I was happy to see e6. I was going to take it, and then bishop c3. Now, bishop h4, another inaccuracy. We took with the knight, which we have taken with the pawn. We keep making notes. Take with the pawn, then we take on c3, mess up the pawn structure. All right. So we keep learning from our mistakes. Knight g4. Okay, at least we got something that makes sense. Blunder. c6. Okay, so the idea with c6 is that if they take with the bishop, we just move the king and then... Like, oh no, we cannot go in here. So c6, bishop is 7 we move. Knight has to leave. And then rook e8, I guess. Right, h3, c takes d5. Now, let me see. What if bishop takes... Yeah, king c8, and look at that, it's 378, guys, if they had done that move. And the idea is that now they have to move the knight. Oh, because we take this. That's the, that's the thing. They cannot leave that diagonal. And if they take with the knight instead, well, we probably even have, yeah, so bishop f6. And the thing is that the knight is trapped. So they have to do something about that, and the knight is trapped. Interesting ideas, just learning ideas. This is how you learn. Review the games, this is how you learn. Ideally, you'd review it on your own first, no engine, no coaches, but uh, definitely this is a good idea to learn. Okay, we go back. Take, take. Can you, I chose the wrong, the wrong square. Bishop is six. And then here, let me see. It's roughly equal, the evaluation, 0 0.06. Rook b8. Rook b6, not a good plan. I looked at bishop d5, but I was afraid of c4. And then my bishop has to go around. Rook a6. Okay, this is the move that got me uncomfortable later. So a4, bishop g4. Yep, wrong plan. f6, I gotta say, I considered it, but I just didn't like blocking my bishop. So bishop g4, take, e6, roughly equal, king e7. Rook d8. Now, this, there's no way I was going to do this move. It, it, it's just too natural to improve the rook. So, improve the rook. Bishop c5. Okay, slightly better for black. Bishop f8. King d7. Rook a5. f6. Yeah, completely equal. I thought I, thought I was way worse in this position. If I was a mistake and still equal, I should have played rook a6, and then e5. Okay, so they come, they improve the king with a tempo. That's why. King b4, and this was the blunder. I was so proud of my move. Taking advantage of the pin, I was so proud of this move. All I had to do was just take on e5. Now, blunder, because now I take with a check. Take, king e6, rook b8. Okay, so we're good. This is the end game. Okay, run, I, run, I chose the wrong side of the board as well. This is where things got ugly for me. King g5, rook b7. We're playing better than I expected. King h4, look at that. Rook c5. Yeah, here, the, the, oh, look at this. I was so proud of my c4 move, and it was rook b5. Guys, rook endgames are tricky. They're just too tricky. It's just too tricky. Yep, yep. C4, mistake. So we went from winning by one point to roughly equal. So rook b5 was the move. Keeping everything under control. King a3. Good move. This is still winning. But I, I guess this one was easier to convert. Just take, take, take. Uh, they have to take. And then we're going to take here first. This should be, this should be a win. But... What was the, uh, this was the blunder move. 
Yeah, we let them in the back rank, in the seventh rank. We did. We did. Now, let me see here. What do we have? Yeah, roughly equal. Yeah, this is just true. This is me just trying to look for last minute resources, but there's nothing. And that's it, that's it. All right, guys, excellent game by my opponent, I gotta say. So if we go back here, you can see 87%, uh, 86%, no, not bad, no blunders, so we're good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so Cheeky, let me see if I find you, Cheeky. Cheeky, see if I can go okay, 10 minutes okay and all right Russian defense I'm just gonna go Nice c3, this is when, when I started to learn my openings, I, this is what I used to play against the Russian defense. Fortnite, and then I'll go into the scotch, and let's play chess. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's why we're not gonna make it, that's why we don't make it to the, to the next level. <laughs> Momo, was that you? I didn't, I didn't, that was not Momo, was that Momo? No, that was not Momo. That was not Momo. Let me see. Yeah, that was Momo. Ah, Momo, Momo, I didn't know, man. I didn't know. <laughs> well played, mister, well played. Um, guys, this line, by the way, if you play the scotch, either with or without the 93 variation, the black pieces should never take on d4. The idea is now my queen is centralized, controlling the whole board, and typically getting the queen out early is not good because they can kick you out by developing a piece, but that's not the case anymore. So here I'm happy with my queen where it is. Bishop c4, they can always play c5, but then d6 is going to become weak. So that's the thing. Yeah, this guy's, this guy's, what can we, what can we do? No, no, I'm just taking the, I'm taking the challenges as they come, okay? Hey, this is what it is, man. Don't don't force him. Don't force him to like this uh, <laughs> dubious chess stream. Now, most likely, I don't want to contradict you, but most likely it's just that you were improving your training, you're improving. Uh, guys, openings, yeah, maybe you got into positions that you enjoyed better or you played better, but openings are not that big a deal. It's not gonna be openings. If you make a jump like that, it's, it's because you're getting stronger when it comes to tactics, strategy, end games, and, and so on. All right, we're gonna play five. Again, never good. Queen on the same files as Rook, same diagonal as the Bishop get out of the way because tactics might be in the air not saying that i'm gonna get better here but just generally yep you got it mm -hmm. 
Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, better be in a worse place that you that you like, right? <laughs> it takes, night takes, no. 95. Hmm. It feels good to be attacking. It feels good to be attacking. Just putting pressure. Now I'm thinking next, maybe bring the rook up. I mean, bring the pawn, the pawn up or bring the rook to e1, okay. Let's follow through. This has to be uncomfortable to play as the black pieces. So let's try to use this momentum to create something. Let's see if we can create some complications. We send you we send you as well to lesson 102. Get on that training plan consistently and you should see an improvement there. You should see an improvement. Also, don't forget guys, you can follow these lessons in order. We already have 191 coming out on Saturday. So just do that. Just consistency. That's what you need. Consistency. If you're a 1700, definitely start paying more attention to your end games. Just send the challenge. You can see my username, chess.com username. Send it over. Check out, where, where is your channel? There's a, new, there's a new channel coming out that I know a lot of you are going to not only find useful, but you could take the same initiative. And those of you who have an interest, an interest, feel free to create content as well. The more, the better. Now, I'm still waiting for, your, for the link to your, <laughs> to your channel, but um, you guys can check it out. Definitely good content coming out as well. Uh, and yeah, these videos, we've been already doing it for like two years. And we have a long way to go, so hopefully we continue to, to deliver. Yeah, you, of course you. <laughs> okay, so can we do this now? Or anything, anything similar?
No, no, I think you're talking to the wrong person. I haven't played many famous people, guys. Uh, here, I'm just, I learned chess for like three, four years. I came to the US, played a few tournaments. I don't know how I got the, the National Master title. And that's it. And I didn't think I was going to go back to chess, but somehow I got back into it. And that's it. But I'm not Nakamura that is playing <laughs> these top players all the time. I have played some strong grandmasters like uh, uh, Bent Larson, I think is the name. A very strong grandmaster, but of course he destroyed me. Uh, but And, you know, I've played a few. The only ones that I've played famous, that you could call famous, is being on Title Tuesday. That's it. All right, we made contact. Bring it, bring it on, bring it on. Well, what I always tell is go to the YouTube channel and again, you don't have to click on the videos, just scan through the titles on lesson 30 something, we start talking about openings. So just see which one gets your attention. We talked about the, the Rui Lopez, the, um, the, the, the Scotch game, the Vienna, which is one of my favorite, lesson 34. And then for the black pieces, we talked about the Russian defense or, or Petrov. We talked about the Czech peers, the regular peers, Kings Indian defense. Just scan until you find something that you like, okay? Now, I don't think so. I want to start playing more tournaments. Uh, it's been the case for the last one or two years. I want to start playing more tournaments consistently, but with no ambition, just to be active. Because from time to time, if you want to play, right? So, and I just don't want to be playing without any training at all. So I want to start playing, uh, training consistently, playing some tournaments to at least be in shape. Always ready, always ready. Candidate moves, candidate moves, candidate moves, candidate moves. Rookie four, um, what if pawn takes? I'm not sure, because then, I mean, I'm not sure if we, I mean, probably we, we get, nah, I don't know if we get sufficient counterplay. I don't know. Because they're this close to activating their rooks, and I don't know, I don't know. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm looking at that move. But now, time to reassess. Candidate moves. Mm, G take, F, um, H takes. Well, that's that's the beginning. That's that's how it that's how it all starts. Candidate moves. Calculate each one of them, and then you pick the one that you like the most.
guys if you do it for subscribers or it, it's just just not gonna you're gonna get discouraged very very soon uh, you gotta do it because you really want to do it because there's something else for you uh, but for the sake of getting subscribers or monetize it's just you're gonna get discouraged better use your time for something else you could the time that this requires you could put it into something else you're gonna do better because uh, it does take time I have a friend of mine who wanted to do a YouTube channel about something else and he came home he learned how to do it blah, blah, blah. he started and he called me a few days later oh this is a full time job and it takes time it does take time if you want to do it right it does take time This was interesting, and then if anything, bring the rook around, but I'm not so sure. Um, well, my opinion, guys, um, he definitely knows better. <laughs> But my opinion is, what I like my students to do is always start with no openings at all. Then we start with E4, E5 games, the open games. You need to start with that. Those are more tactical. You need to get really good at attacking the king, tactics. After that, what I do is I show them different openings that they could play uh, against E4, different openings they could play against D4, and they pick. I don't really care if they, play, if they pick King's Indian or something else. And, and then we go from there. Of course, what you don't want to do is try to memorize everything about the opening if you're at that level. Just learn the first few moves, the main ideas, and just play it and play it and play it. But, I mean, I rarely like to be like, never, never, no, it's relative. Now, I just don't think you should go straight into it. Like, first opening, you learn second scene in defense. No, play your e 45 d 45 for a little bit, then you look into all the openings. I personally, when I started to look into openings, I was shown um, the different openings against black, I mean against white. I was already late when I was started, I was 12. So I didn't have the time to really uh, get up to speed, but I just said, you know what, I like this one with the Fianchetto. It was the Pierce defense. Then I looked at the King's Indian defense against the four, very similar. I'm like, this is what I want, and that's it. And I just picked that. But uh, each case is different. With that said, you listen to him, he's the one who knows. All right, so check. Check. Okay, let's do that check. And if they go here, I think this is mate. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, we got that one. Let me go to the next one. Um, not to play Ruiz Lopez. Okay, guys, let me show you this, look. Let me show you this. This is something that I have for uh, members only. And again, I don't mean to go against the recommendations. They're probably way more experienced and they know what they're saying it. But look, if I go here, let me go to analysis quickly. I have a sort of mine that uh, he also started late. And one of the things that he decided to do was to get really good at the end game, take his opponents to the end game, right? And he's beating opponents that have been playing for way longer than he is by avoiding complicated positions where they're going, he's going to be outplayed, he just takes him to the end game. So he plays the Catalan, but with the white, uh, when he plays e4, he plays this line. Look, you go knight f3, knight c6, and I'm only saying this because it's Rui Lopez, and you mentioned Rui Lopez. And then after this line, if you go for this, um, the main line with bishop a4 and these very strategic positions that you want to play it perfectly, it's complicated. But there's this line 
where you just do the exchange variation. This, is, this used to be Bobby Fischer's favorite for a long time. And the, the idea is that after they take, you could continue to just castle. I mean, this is very easy to play for anyone and hard for the black pieces to prove anything, unless you're playing at a really high level. You give the pair of bishops, but then what he's doing is, instead of castling and going for a tricky, more complicated game, he plays d4. And I showed this to my members, uh, paid members on YouTube. You go for this line. And basically the whole game is, I got pawn majority on the king side. My opponent has pawn majority on the queen side, but he got doubled pawns. So these two pawns, it's like if he had only one. This were like three versus three on the queen side. No way he's gonna create a pass pawn. We got four versus three. So the whole game is try to get their pair of bishops, ultimately try to simplify the whole game. So just to show you, let's say, and this is me playing it badly, but um, let me see if I can show you more or less what I mean, right? So let's say we get to I don't know, something like this. How can I make it? How can I make it so that it makes sense? Okay, let's say something like this. And then, again, this is me playing bad chess here. Sorry about that. Uh, let me do something like this. So they're looking, he's looking for this end game. And now all he needs to do is starts pushing, starts pushing, trades three pawns for three pawns. He's left with a pass pawn, and we know how to win this end game. And you don't know how many times he's gotten very nice games with it. Of course, not all of the games go his way, but it's a very simple strategy. And he's, you don't have to learn a lot of theory. Boring, maybe, but it's a good tool to have there. So I'm not saying play this, but just know it's out there. Check it out if you want. All right, let me go back to play. And okay, this one, I think, oh, I got it. 10 minutes. Okay, let's see if we can play the real Lopez. <laughs> Let me go nice e3. Now, again, this is, we learned on lesson 34, the Vienna game. Of course, this is the closed Sicilian, but we could do the same thing. Same thing, knight g2, f4, castle, and you're playing chess, that's it. You made it to the middle game. We could play the Alapin. We could play the Alapin. Okay, so uh, good question. So the game, uh, what I was saying as, as we were playing it, is that I didn't like when you play when you took on d4 with the queen with the knight. So at the, in the opening, when I did pawn to d4, move like move number four, pawn takes, knight takes is fine. But when you took with the knight and you, you allowed me to improve my queen. So my queen became very powerful in the in the center. And then you see, I kept pushing. I kept looking for the initiative. Maybe I did not do the right moves, but it's easier for me to play as white, pushing and, and, and putting pressure than for you to defend. And ultimately, you let me just get you with a little trick with, you know, uh, rook g3 check. No, yeah, rook g3 check and then checkmate or give me the, the piece. But I think the main mistake was that, just take it on d4. It just puts you in a defensive position for move number five. All right. Should we do a five? Or should we just ignore it? Mm, H3 first. All good, all good. How are you? <laughs> uh, last question. Let me see. Don't see it, don't see, don't see your, your question. I went back a little bit and didn't see it. Yeah, guys, I made a mistake here. Shouldn't have played bishop e3 so quickly. I mean, the same move that we wasted, they're gonna have to waste it with the knight going back, but not a good idea. D6. Yeah, exactly, exactly, that's, that, that, yeah, that's, that's better. 
D6 before you take on D4. Yeah. And then if I do Bishop B5, that would be uh, more like a real Lopez. All right, get the knight out of here. Well, I played Aronian. I played Aronian and I played the pure defense. So, against anything, man. Against anything. I gotta put my money where the mouth, my mouth is. <laughs> um, G4, G5. Todo bien, todo bien. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo está todo? Okay, but what's the question? Okay, that one I saw, but what's the question? Eh, sí, no, métete ahí lo que tengo unas cuantas gente, así que lo que estoy haciendo es aceptando lo Lo, lo que me han enviado, ¿no? Entonces, si no, mándamelo y esperemos que lleguemos en que no tengo mucho tiempo, ¿no? Pero bueno, si no en esta, en la próxima. Um, if what happened. No, no, I, it's it, for some reason it's not popping up for me. If not, send it to me via Twitter. Send it to me on Twitter and I'll see it, okay? Same as in YouTube, guys. Same as in YouTube. Now, again, look at the the pawn structure. We're going. To, we have more space on the king side. That's where we're going with our pieces. No, no, no. My bishop is happy where it is. Uh, not necessary. Oh, you mean this one? Oh, okay, okay. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. No, just trying to open up lines to get to that king. And again, we have elements here from the 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 Vienna game. What do you mean? When, that's not a question. We're going with the only thing we know how to do in these positions. <laughs> now here, I think my opponent should be playing more aggressively on the queen side. Mm -hmm. See if we can open the F file. Bueno, eso, eso dicen, eso dicen. No, actually, it's pretty simple, especially since my opponent is not doing anything on the other side of the board. Pretty, pretty simple. It goes back to what we said before. If you review games other people have played, you're going to see what, what pawn they push, when, and, and so on. Here I'm just thinking of making contact and opening up my file, right? That's, what, that's all I have in mind. If I could do knight g5 with a tempo on h7, maybe go to f7 after, even sack the knight. 
Now, if they did something like e5, we could think of pawn g5 and then f6. And we bury that bishop, but we'll see. Yeah, we've talked about that idea of hiding the bishop, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work at this point. Okay, now they're getting active. Right time at the right time. I see you all bragging here with getting so excited, and I wouldn't be surprised if we get destroyed. <laughs> it could it, things could easily backfire here. Okay, guys, so now knight d4 or bishop g7 first. Probably, probably bishop g7 was better. <laughs> it's looking beautiful until it doesn't look beautiful anymore. definitely guaranteed a piece here so once we get that piece we could continue to attack the king with that extra piece or we just simplify the game go to an end game where we up a piece I'm good either way gracias gracias <laughs> imagine <laughs> it's true oof imagine even bishop c6 We'll see. We just gotta let's try not to not to get too excited here. Not yet. I'm thinking queen e5, hitting this knight. Give it to me. What is it? <laughs> yeah, take it with the bishop. Take it with bishop. Probably we're good here anyways. But just looking for the best way to to convert. The only way we're going to lose this game is if we get checkmated. Okay, my opponent is definitely playing with fire here. So you see, we could have looked for moves like f6 to attack the king and so on, but I don't care. I just want to uh, cash out. I'm up, a, I'm up a rook. There's no way he's going to come back from this endgame. If I leave the queens on the board, they could complicate the game and get me in trouble. That's it. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. I was looking at queen e5, but we always had um, bishop f4. Yep. But we have to consider it. Just like when we do the, the tactics training on Tuesdays, we always talk about that. We got to consider everything. All right, guys, we got that one. Good game by my opponent. That was a closed Sicilian. Let me go full screen. So I got... Oh, we, we got that one. Okay, 10 minutes. And let's go on f3. Someone asked for not f3. By the way, guys, on, <laughs> on Saturday, Lesson 191 is going to be about... A, and you can see it premiering already, but it's going to be about a very cool attacking plan with the King's Indian attack. Again, I already showed it to the members of the channel, but... <laughs> but I think my opponent is not... not ready. Okay, let me see, when are we going to... Yeah, okay, not happening. So let me go to next one. All right, uh, what did I play before? Okay, knight f3. <laughs> Can we do that? Let me try that. Um, no, 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 it would be just too ch I mean, I, I'm okay with it, but I would drive you crazy. Okay, so let me see, do I have two games? Now, am I playing one game or two games? It should be showing... Okay, this one is not good. Okay, for some reason, my opponent... Yeah, probably they sent the challenge and left. I already have two games going on. Okay, one is going to auto abort in two seconds. Okay, let me close this one, close this one. Okay, that one is not working. This one is good, let me see. Okay, so now that they didn't play e4, we're gonna get into this sort of Grunfeld position. And look, same pawn structures in the other game. I'm looking for ways to leave him with an isolated pawn. So let's see if that happens. Take, take. Now this is not only isolated, but I think we can take it right away. Look, I, I always say, guys, National Master is, is, is not difficult at all. It's not compared to other titles like International Master, Grand Master. It's nothing. So you can definitely get there. It's easier than you think. Five or ninety four. All right, we're on the same page.
I don't know. I just went, I'm going one by one. If I, I clicked on it, I did click on it. What's going on here? If I clicked on it, it did it take it? And I'm not paying attention to the user. I'm not even reading it, guys. I'm just going to the check mark. And if it takes it, it takes it. Nothing, 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 nothing. Mm. Gotta be careful. Oh, can we do this now? Hmm, we could. We could actually. Uh, if they rook d8, we have bishop f8, but. Yeah, why not? Okay, guys, try to calculate. Let's do this as an, uh, like we do on Tuesdays. Let's calculate. Queen f2, king d2, then what? Then what? And again, probably you're as tired as I am at this point, but you gotta push yourself. Calculate, calculate. It's not about finding the right answer, but just finding opportunities to calculate and visualize. Uh, queen f2, and then bishop g4. Interesting. I was actually thinking queen f2, bishop a6, bishop f5, maybe bring the rook. It has to be something for us there. Now, queen b3 is a safe bet. It has to be a safe bet. Probably is the best way to go, actually. So here, another, the same thing. Either you simplify the game and go for the end game, or you simply um, try to continue to attack the king. In a, in a classical game, I'll have traded queens, a map, a lot of material, that's it. But let's see. This, act this move actually is pretty powerful, but I think I'm going with this. Bishop a6, bishop a6, cast power of move. <laughs> You do have a great memory. You remember things that not even I, re I remember. <laughs> okay, there has to be something for us here. We got him, we got him. Um, okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and just play a quick game here with someone random on chess.com. We've been here for two and a half hours and after that we'll probably wrap up, okay? So I'm gonna go just play three minute random and let's see what we get. Free night, probably, probably. Okay, so we're playing a 23-49. Let's see if we can do the same King's Indian defense thing. Now, it's looking more like a pierce defense if they play four, and they did. This one, I think we had it last time too, didn't we? I think we did. So this one's for you to see how easy it is to get destroyed. 
This is the real deal. This is the real deal. Again, we get away from those diagonals, guys. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Did we get in trouble? We did get in trouble. We did get in trouble. And I'm trying to th figure out if we have any counterplay, but we don't. So now we got to struggle here to complicate the game. Mm. What? Queen d7? When was that? When was that? All right. What can we do? What can we do? All right, this is already accepting we're done. Okay, my opponent is not gonna give me an edge. Understood. that okay guys so there you go simplification same thing that I was doing it was done to me that's it so let's show some respect and that's it I'm gonna finish on a loss I'm not even even gonna keep going we've been here for almost three hours but if you have any questions bring them on and that way we we answer them before we, we go okay <laughs> oh, for a draw there's no way there's no way. <laughs> Good opening. Guys, same thing I said before. Go to the YouTube channel, go in order, and just scan through the different openings. If there's one that you want to try, click on the video and see if you like it. Um, most of my students, I can tell you, they start with E4, so they many of them play the Vienna, lesson 34. Maybe you want to play, look into the Rui Lopez, I think it's 33 or something like that, or the Scotch. Um, and then eventually you can look into the four openings as well. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what went wrong. Let's see. Many things went wrong. That's that's a fact. And again, look at your your games. If you're losing in the first ten moves. Yeah, you have to do something about your openings. But if you're losing later, it's middle game. Middle game, middle game. All right, let me see here. Uh, okay, so not bad. 
One blunder. That's what happened. What was the blunder? Let's see what was the blunder. D5, good. Take, take. So the opening is... This is already... Look, this is move number... What? Mm, what move number is this? Uh, anyway, it's not showing. Okay, number 10. So 10 moves in. We're good. What's the evaluation? Well, 0.50. Not ideal. Not F6. Okay, so A5 probably better. I thought of E5 too. So knight D5. Bishop D2. H6. So these are mistakes, but they're not going to cost us the game. Rookie 1. Queen C7. This was the main blunder. I guess I underestimated this Bishop G6. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And even though we continue to play energetically, we're losing already by 417. So that's it. Tactic that we're never going to forget. So h6 was marked as a mistake. Bishop e6 marked as a mistake. It was, it's like I set myself up for this tactic. That's it. Take, take. Bishop g4. Knight f6. Bishop e6. And yeah, here they just 288, 425. To convert this, just keep putting pressure. Queen c8. Knight d5. So there's no huge blunders after that. There's a few mistakes here and there, but... Knight f6. Yeah, it's just that it was a bad possession after queen c7. That was it. That was it. But you see, guys, the most important thing is we review the games. We don't make the same mistakes again. And I know the opening line was not a problem. It was, it was later in the middle game. So I got to go back, fix that, and not play like that again. But anyhow... Um, now, uh, actually, for those of you who are new, we do this every Thursday. On Tuesdays, we have a live stream where we just train tactics. No, we just, if anything, we play a game at the end. Thursdays, we do something like this. And Saturdays, there's a new lesson coming. It's more formal, a new lesson coming out. And that will be lesson 191. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, no, but it's hard to it's hard to punish that. Guys, I'm not gonna be able to I'm not gonna play another game because there's there's a lot of challenges waiting and it wouldn't be fair. But for certain, we're gonna be here every Thursday, okay? So let's do it. Thank you guys, thank you. <laughs> And let me see, any other questions? Okay, so look, I'll tell you this. If you your problem is being passive and you don't like that, um, I would say with the white pieces, <laughs> it'll be interesting to get you on, there's this setup, uh, let me see. Mm. Here. Okay, let me go here quickly. Look, there's this setup that a lot of my students use, and again, they're probably way, I mean, they're definitely better ones, but this is one that I can think is not so complicated and it could give you something. So instead of just going with the classical, you know, the, the London, just go knight c3, then bishop e4. And with this, you could easily go from, you could go passive, or you could just go with this queen d2 castle and, and just play more aggressively. Completely up to you. With the black pieces, uh, many people don't like it. But I have a few students who are very successful um, with this opening. Give it a try. Just give it a try. Don't judge. Give it a try. And the Scandinavian, I personally like it, like it a lot. And it could get you really nice games. The whole thing is that if you study it, I also recommend you review games with a Karo Ken. You could get very similar positions. Karo Ken, Scandinavian. <clears throat> and then, of course, if they take... You have this line with knight f6 that it could get really tricky or you could simply take knight c3, bring the queen to a5 and just play chess. Just review it. Just take a look. If you don't like it, we will look for something else. Now, forget about that. If you did not, if it, if you didn't, if it didn't help, it was not the opening. It was not the opening. Look, guys, easiest way to put it, if I take an eight, 1800 player a, and I 1,000 rated player. You could tell this 1,800 player to play any opening you like. He's going to destroy the 1,000. There's no... Or, or the 1,200 or the 1,300. If you haven't played 10 games with any openings you choose for, for the 1,800, he's going to win. It's just the 1,800 knows more middle game and end game, more tactics, more strategy, and so on. 
Yeah, yeah, you have even, you know, you have even um, here, you have even queen d8. But in my experience, queen a5 has to be the better one. But that's just me. No, no, no. That's look. That's the the, the worst thing you could be doing to your, to your chess, is falling in love with opening traps and then and then sitting there waiting for people to fall for the trap. And again, the good point is, for every point you get with that trap, you are losing many half points because you don't know how to convert a game and you, it it ends up on a draw, or you lose in the end game or in, later in the middle game because you don't know enough. So use that time. To really learn chess guys L really learn chess okay 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 <laughs> doesn't matter I, I i don't i don't think it matters look uh even if you find an old tactics book anything it, as long as you're doing tactics you're gonna be fine just stop playing it just stop playing it just know it's not doing you any good it's, it's just not it's just not doing you any good or look, the other thing is, it's like when with diet, people who want to stop eating a lot, one of the advices that I give is, uh, actually, let me rephrase that. <laughs> I had, I, I had a, I'm thinking of Edgar. I had a, a friend, he was a bodybuilder. And he was like, you know what? I'm so disciplined, but so often I get these urges to eat uh, Oreo cookies. So he just wants to eat Oreo cookies. So what he said that he would do is, he would have one day that he would eat that, but he would eat so much of it that he would get really he wouldn't like it anymore so he'll be like one day i'm gonna buy 10 packages of oreo cookies and just eat them all and then that was it he would be like a month without wanting to try it again so maybe just pick one day a week and you just play bullet if you really want to do that but then that's it just make it the bullet day maybe friday after you do all of the heavy training you do your bullet all right <laughs> destroy your computer Now that's just practice. It happens to me when I'm when I'm out of shape. Like if I go to a tournament and I haven't played or trained in a while, it, I, it, it happens. I sometimes I even calculate lines and I forget them. I need to calculate them again. All of those things happen. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost didn't make it. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it there then, and I'll see you on Saturday, lesson 191, and then. Tuesday, our live tactics session. So with that said, have a good